very wet. Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah? So much fun. Where are you running with a towel? What up fam? I'm spending a little bonding time with the kids. Uh, this is the first Memorial Day where I don't have to work at all. No real estate work. I love you. And so we are eating at a place in Vegas called Dim Sum Cafe. And I've been craving dim sum for the longest time. So I wanted to bring the kids because it's one of their favorites due to the variety of food that they get over around the table. And I'm proud of this girl because what is your favorite? Is it that thing right there? Are you chewing on the bones right now? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so she's eating uh, chicken feet and she really, really likes it. Um, and I always want to eat it. You always want to eat it, I know. We're all you gotta eat. Um, Good job, Leah. The sticky rice. Yeah, the sticky rice? You like the sticky rice so much. Look, you like it so much it's on your arm, Enzo. You gotta eat it off your arm. Don't waste the food. I fell. Oh, it fell. Okay, you can still eat it though. Good job, buddy. Oh, then we got more of Enzo's favorite. Oh, that's actually my favorite right there. Robaco, tasu bao, Enzo wanted, and ham soy gok because Leia wanted it. So it's just me and the kids, but we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. Yeah, seven items. So Christina is doing some uh, yoga or Pilates type of thing that she just started. She, I think she's gone like three or four times now. Um, so I've been taking advantage of that and having meals with the kids. And I like it because a lot of times it's not, I don't get this time with them. Either I'm working or when I am with them, Christina's here and all they want to do is be with Christina. So I like this. I want to be with you today, Dad. Just today or every day? Whenever you want us to. Oh, thank but you. But you want to eat my um, cup. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what he said. <laughs> Enzo, what are you trying to do? Break it. You're trying to break it in half? Okay, go. Break it in half. <laughs> go, Enzo. <laughs> Show me your breaking face. Break it, break it, break it. Uh, Oh my gosh, you gave up. Alright, Leia, you trying to break it now? Oh yeah, spit out those chicken feet bones. Go, go, go. Oh, yo, I think you can do it. Oh, you're so strong. Almost, huh? Almost, I see the struggling face. Yeah, I see the struggling face. You don't what? You don't love me? Why? I love mommy even more. I love mom and dad. But you just said that what? you love. You just said that I'm your favorite. What? Yeah. Bruh. So this guy, right before turning on the camera, he said, "Dad, you're my favorite." And I said, "Let me bust out the camera. You can say it in the vlog." And then he said, "I love mommy more." Is that true? Yeah. So who's your favorite? Um. What are these? Why are you changing the subject? What was the car that just passed? You, you missed that. Thing. Why are you asking me about a car? What's this car was that? Is that the same as mom's? But I don't know who's that mom's. It's the same car as mom's? Uh, but I don't know who is in there. Do you think mommy's coming? Or no? I don't know who is this her car. What if she doesn't come? I thought it was just daddy and Leia and Enzo having lunch. My wife is looking pretty fine going to this yoga class looking like this, huh? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. You're looking pretty good. Oh, I think you. Going somewhere without me, huh? Yep. Feels amazing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait, so where did you go? I went to a peer bar, so I started taking classes. And um, this is actually what my sister has, uh, she's an instructor for this, and she got me into it. 
So it's kind of like a mix between like um, so when you're when you see ballet classes, right? They're holding onto the bar that's like bolted into the walls. So you're kind of doing your workouts with that, and then you're doing a lot of like, like a stripper pole. No, it's horizontal, not oh. vertical. I, I used to do it. Yeah, she used to do this in her dance class too. Because all your workouts are just there. You're kind of like holding on to it and doing all this I crazy stuff. I used to stuff. do it in, in California. Uh, yeah. So it's, so it's not yoga and it's not Pilates. So it's a mix of yoga, Pilates, and bar. So I'm still learning it, but it's, it's a pretty good balance. Okay, what have you learned so far? Go show me on that empty table right there. Pretend it's a bar. No, I'm hungry. What are you talking about? I gotta get my protein in, you know? All right, so right now uh, I am meeting some guy here at Ikea. This is our Ikea in Vegas. This is in the Southwest Spring Valley area. And I'm gonna sell something on OfferUp. I actually use that app a lot. And I'm selling this Nintendo Switch uh, OLED that I have. So I'm selling it because I never get to play with it. I bought this, like the, the day it came out, is the day I bought it and it was it was such a hot system but Christina doesn't play play it with me the kids are too young to play it and so I'm just gonna sell it and so I'm actually trading uh, an arcade system for it so I'm really excited to meet this guy and pick up this arcade system adding to my arcade collection upstairs in our loft all right strap the bad boy in we got fast and furious under this cover and I can't wait to bring it home Oh, I'm so excited for my first racing game. Car. Look at this. What? All just for you guys. For you guys? For You're... you. And how? Oh, so okay. So Christina's not going to play with the games. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna set this guy up real quick. I wanna show you how beautiful this looks. Hey, don't break the wheel. Don't break the wheel. He's already excited. All right, let me put the camera down. <laughs> Kids are excited to go to a splash pad right now at the park. I'm excited to play Fast and Furious. And so you want the park or you want Fast and Furious? after the park. After the park? Yeah. Oh my goodness, he's so smart. But look how beautiful this game room is turning out. Oh, it's gorgeous. All right, so we got a manual shifter here. We got some pedals down there. Well, let's make sure it turns on. Back up, everybody, back up. Five feet away from the game. Enzo, back up, back up. Five feet away from the game. Nobody move. I'm going to turn it on. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Ooh, the light turned on. Ooh. On the piano, piano, All right, let's give it a shot. Automatic or manual? Manual, fool. Let me push start. Oh, let me step. Can you push start? Oh, you try it out. Manual, I don't know. What do you mean? It's just, it's like an automatic manual, bro. It's only two pedals. There's not three. You see two? I haven't done this in so long. Pick your car. This used to be my dream car. <laughs> Which one? Back in high school, Skyline. You know we can get one now in living and in Nevada. Oh, uh, would you make me pick a Camaro? <laughs> you got a Camaro. Oh, man. All right, just get some Nas. There we go. There we go. There we go, mommy. Ah! Already crashing? Hey, oh you're, you're the one who put me on manual right now. I'm not ready for this. Asian driver. Watch out, guys. Asian driver coming Shut through. Up. Don't fall off the cliff. Oh, wow. I can barely reach the pedal too. This is like real life. Yeah, I'm like tippy toeing. This supposed to be a stand up. That's oh. All. But how oh. was your first your first why ride? Kind of crazy. Why, why you in time if it was now? automatic, it would be different why, because why I I went into the now? water. Your turn. All right, we're gonna go to the park. When we come back, then I'll play. So I just like Christina try for the first time. Lucky you. That was rough. Rex. 
Yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah? So much fun. Where are you running with a towel? Oh, in the sun? All right. This is definitely what the kids need, is just to run around and yell and have fun. Yeah. And since we don't have a pool, I feel like this is a good balance. Because I'm sitting in this part, or this bench, and now I know why people are not sitting here. Because the water blows over here. But it feels good. This is nice. What are you going to do, brave girl? Let's see if you can do this by yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you, climb, you go sideways, right? Can Enzo do it? Let's go, big boy. There we go. There we go, sister. Okay. Yep, are you it. spider woman? Got it. Are you spider girl? Got you. You got it. Ready? You take turns. So, so you go first, and then he goes first, and then you, and then him. So, so you don't cheat. What happened? Why did they stop playing the splash pad? You missed it, so I was trying to call you. So when you were walking to the other bench, um, I, th I saw Leia, she was on the floor because there's like this little groove that goes into the floor. And then I saw her and then she face planted and then Enzo face planted on, on top of her. Oh. So her face went to the ground even more. So now she's traumatized. I think so. All right, so Christina was craving a burrito and we haven't found a lot of good Mexican places. We were told that a lot of them are on the east side of Vegas. And so right now we're at a place called Roberto's. So for all of you from LA, you know there's Alberto's, Alfredo's, what's the other name? Albert. And Albert's. And this is a Roberto's. So I, I assume it's gonna be something similar to what we have back in LA, uh, where I think the carne asada fries originated from. You know, after the club, you get your hungover and you need some food in your system. These are your 24 hour spots. So we're hitting up this one in Vegas. We're gonna see what it's like, if it tastes like Alberto's. Their fries, let's see, if their fries are anything like Alberto's, we'll find out right now. All right, so the similarities that I've seen so far is they do have carrots, um, you know, the lime. I don't think Alberto's had cucumbers, so that's something new. What did you grab? Cheese. Cheese. So the other thing that I see here is that this does not look like a 1375 uh, carne asada fries. It looks kind of dry too. Like, is there no um, sour cream and stuff for it? It's oh, it's somewhere. hidden. Okay, so there's sour cream there and uh, guacamole. I'm gonna try it. The fries, I think everything's just hidden under, but let's it's do the sour, taste test. It's sour, sour cream is on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, it's like mixed up a little bit. It smells good, it really does. It's good, but I think maybe the meat is a little different because they chop it, up, chop it up into smaller pieces and it's not as juicy. But it's still good. And then look, it has like the pico de gallo and stuff on it too. Like there's onions, it. tomatoes and stuff. I lost it. Oh, that's spicy. That's spicy, Here. man. You can't eat it. I'm sorry. Now your I'm hands off. are going to be spicy. Wipe your hands. <laughs> Uh-oh. I lost it. Okay. I don't know the prices of, of Alberto's anymore, but back in my days, a carne asada fries was like $8 and you could buy a mini for 5 So this being almost 14 bucks is kind of new to me. I think it's around like 11 or $12 now. Back in LA. It probably went up even more. We haven't gotten it since like COVID and everything else. Here, Enzo, here's your fork. Lime in the water. Lime in your water. Okay, well, you can have some beans. I know you're pointing at the beans earlier. Ooh, that is a major big burrito, dude. I'm always on the hunt for a good burrito, so. It looks good. We'll see. I'm gonna dip it in this green sauce. This is my favorite. You didn't even put the lime on it. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's on the outside. This is pretty good. But I don't think I've gotten into the heart of the burrito yet, so I can't really say it. But it's, actually, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty moist compared to like the fries and stuff. Okay, we're going to try this again. 
Oh, Just you're dipping it in there, then the kids can't eat it. Oh, don't worry, I'll eat it. Mmm. Pretty good. Better than Alberto's? Nothing cold. No. Maybe because I can't taste if there's any sour cream in there and stuff yet. There is no sour cream in there. Because mm. usually Alberto has um, sour cream. I guess I like it the American way, but it's still really good. So I would like to get Ann's um, review on these because he's always so specific and he has that like chef's touch. I know it's just a burrito, but... It's a very good, normal burrito. There's nothing about it. Nothing special about it. Okay. It's good. I would eat it again, order it again. But the asada doesn't have that char flavor. By the Alberto, it's just because they're just always cooking it. Yeah. You know? That's this what this it is, is a little more slow pace. The holiday is over and it's back to work. So today we are going to be filming both of our podcasts. Right now we're doing the Next Win podcast. And we just had our guest here who is chowing down. Uh, we had Christina on the Next Win podcast. Yep. How was that? It was very interesting. Yeah. I, I'm going to admit I was a little intimidated at first because I was like, I'm going to be on this real estate podcast. Like, what do I have to say about real estate? But it was cool. Nice. Well, I'm glad to have you on it. I think uh, it went pretty well. Yeah, it was yeah. cool. It was really good. Yeah. What did you cool. think of it? Yeah, it was fun. Should we have her back on more often? or? I think so. Like, if she... Uh, pursues her real estate career. Oh, you never know. You know, she might be an expert in and outgrow you. You know. Whoa. <laughs> that so can happen. that can definitely happen. <laughs> so in the episode, we talked about Christina wants to be a real estate agent, and then we also talked about uh, should the kids buy you a home, and a bunch of other cool topics. So you guys make sure um, if you haven't subscribed to the Next Win podcast, please do it now. Uh, we upload from Tuesday to Friday every week and then Sundays we have a one hour episodes the same ones that we put on Spotify which is on Mondays so on Mondays we do podcast platforms all the other days is YouTube so please subscribe also please take the extra step and go to Instagram right now you'll see it in our in our description box go to Instagram and follow us on Instagram on the next win podcast as well if you guys have any other topics that you want us to talk about uh, write it down in the comments here and then I'll read them and then we could say it on the podcast. I hope you guys have been enjoying them and that you guys have actually learned something. That's the goal, right? If you guys just learned one thing, then uh, we reached our goal. So after this, uh, we were shooting three episodes of the Next Win Podcast. And right after this, uh, you see there's a couch out there. That couch is waiting to come right here because after that, the set is changing to me and Christina's podcast. Yay! And uh we haven't set the name just yet for our podcast but it is an asian american based podcast uh where we talk about our relationships the family the culture and all that so i'm very excited to announce the name of the podcast very soon uh, i would say within a month we're gonna start launching it i just can't wait to tell you guys um it's gonna happen soon and um, it's gonna be going up on this channel as well so a lot of big things happening and a lot of podcasts so till next time guys, we love you guys and uh, we'll still have vlogs, podcast episodes, other channel podcast episodes. I don't know how you guys do that. It's a lot, right? Yeah, it's a lot of content. What do you think about how it? How do we do it, Ant? Hmm? Hmm? We don't sleep. Uh, we don't sleep. We don't eat. We don't take care of the kids. We don't take care of the dog. <laughs> Uh, I don't I don't shower, I don't take a bath. All we do is just film, 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 film. Speak for yourself. You're gonna start making people believe that and thinking that we're dirty. Mm. It's just a tan. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. Say I love you. I love you. So shy.